Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and it's Purple Post Day. Um, I have another painting from Diamond Art Studio UK. Um, so many pieces that I love. Um, but this one is by Hafsa Indris. Um, I do have some of her other artwork as well. Um, let me just pull up all of her artwork while I'm unboxing this so that I can remind myself of the names of all the other ones of hers that I have. Uh, but I will pop a link to her page, so the artist page, so that you can see all the different types. I am struggling to get in this one today. Do you know why? I've not taken the bow off and sort of done it backwards that way, have I? It's one of those days for me today. We're going for the rough entry. That is nowhere near as graceful as I normally unbox these paintings. Um, so yeah, I already have, well in fact I have two of hers already. There are four pieces of artwork from Hafsa on Diamond Art Studio at the moment. Um, I already have Field of Memories and I also have On the Last Day. Um, on the Last Day is stunning. But this one is My Sweet Love. It does have a similar look to Field of Memories. <coughs> um, so they're both say similar they are different um, but the painting style is similar so this is it you see absolutely gorgeous <laughs> and if I remember rightly um, this is all done this is all done with finger paints <coughs> No, it's probably done with nicer paints than that, but it is painted using her fingers. I'm sure, I'm sure I remember being told that. <coughs> Forgive me if I'm wrong. Excuse me. But, here we go. Now, you can get a toolkit with your kit if you need one. Um, I always get my Diamond Art Studio UK kits without a toolkit um, because I use my own. So um, I like to save that little bit of plastic where possible, but I do like to make you aware that if you do need a toolkit, you can get one. But yeah, just this is more of a confetti painting. Um, there are the colours do repeat throughout, so if you have a big enough section uncovered, you can tip quite a few diamonds in and of course um, use them all as you go along. But to of course bring in all these gorgeous different colours, um, you can find that it can be quite confetti, but I love that. As much as I love doing the likes of the Splatterworks paintings that have a lot of white, um, I love mixing it up but there are some sections for example here these sort of tree shadows um, that are more of one particular colour but it's the colours the colours are just amazing there is 44 colours in this painting and um, I've got the square one and um, I think this one may only come in square actually let me just Oh, hang on, let me check the right one. I've just clicked on Field of Memories <laughs> instead of My Sweet Little Love. Um, I say they're similar, they're not the same. Uh, it's definitely because I'm trying to do two different things at once. But yeah, this one is only available in a square, uh, but it's a 60 by 80 and the detail is just stunning. So as you can see there, you see all the swirls, you can see that they're, say, I am sure, as sure, as sure as I can be, um, that she does do her artwork using her finger. 
there is more details on the actual page you can um, go and see her website and things like that and have a look in more detail on the artist as well but look at these colors absolutely gorgeous so we have purples greens burgundies reds <gasps> got some lime green oh that purple's nice that's like a plum color purple uh, and then we do have some bright oranges creams all in baggies um, so that they are easier to deal with say so 44 different colors uh, primarily symbols for um, for these though they do have letters and numbers mixed in the symbols are as clear as day we make sure my camera's focused otherwise I look like I'm lying um, but no the symbols are really really clear absolutely gorgeous look at those bright pinks when they're going to be placed mixed in with all the rest of this to give us that amazing skyline uh, and then we have of course the mountains that are made up of quite a few other different colors and then the flowers the beautiful beautiful flowers um, I tend to work on the shorter side of the painting so I would work on the painting this way and um, this would also give me the benefit that I would get to enjoy the sky the mountains and the flowers on each row that I complete as I move up the painting um, but it really depends on your setup on how you like to work uh, whether you like to go bottom to top top to bottom side to side up to down to diagonal it's completely up to you but yeah I think this is absolutely gorgeous let me just nip to her website I am now determined to find out if it is that she finger paints these I'm sure she does oh there is some other gorgeous artwork in here yes she does um so she has she has uh i say a bit about her on her website um oh she met, she was born in 1992 a young gun a young gun born in 92 um she says art has always been close to her heart um, but she does mainly finger paint she says that our fingertips are designed in a perfect way to manipulate paint create magical pieces of art and unique textures too she does use brushes as well so there may be elements that she's used a brush for but i can definitely see the likes of the finger painting in quite a few different elements on this image I say if you click on on the link um, you can go to her website um, and read a little bit more about it and have a look at some of the other stunning works of art but I'm happy to be able to have this one in my stash along with a couple of others um, that I will be able to paint albeit with diamonds um, and a pen rather than straight with my finger uh, but hopefully I can do the artwork just a little bit of justice um, with some pretty shiny diamonds but the original original is absolutely stunning and I think they've done an amazing job at rendering this um, for us to be able to take part in the artwork so yeah I'll pop a link I say to the artist page which will include this painting in the description down below there will also be a cheeky little discount code there for you as well in case you fancy treating yourself um, Diamond Art Studio do ship anywhere in the world um, I think they have a flat fee I think it's everywhere in the world uh, but they do have a flat fee for shipping so don't forget to check out some of the other artists and 
bob those in your basket while you're there. Um, I'm just going to try and pull up actually shipping policy. Let me just check before I'm telling you things that might not be true or might have changed. Uh, shipping. So it is free shipping in the UK. Um, so yeah, free shipping in the UK, flat rate shipping for other areas in the world, um, regardless of the quantity or size. So take advantage of that. Um, but of course, the website and popping items into your basket will let you know what that price is depending on where you are uh, but you can't go wrong treating yourself um, there's quite a few different artists that they do um, quite a few different styles and I, I actually love many of the artists because they're different styles um, yeah though there are a few that have captured my heart but anyway uh this for today is my sweet little love but thank you all so much for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon